So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Fandango tank bag by Giant Loop Moto. This is an 8 liter tank bag that uses a zipper to zip to uh, a base that attaches to your bike. I've been using this for the last few weeks and I just wanted to give a quick review with my thoughts on this tank bag in case it helps anyone out there. So on the outside, up top here you have a transparent pouch which you could use for maps or anything else that you might need to look at while riding. You've got a full length zipper that goes around all the way to the front here on both sides. You've got another elastic pouch right here that you could use for maybe your wallet or keys or something that doesn't need to be waterproof. And then on the back here you have a carrying handle as well as a little pass through for any charging cables that you might need to use. And then you also have another pouch back here. Uh, again, if you have something that's not, that doesn't necessarily need to be waterproof. So that's the outside. And it feels very well built, very well put together uh, from the outside at least. Moving on to the inside. So you can see it's one big compartment over here. The lid has a small pouch here with a key ring. And maybe this is good for something like a hand sanitizer or some keys. And then you also have the zipper that lets you into the front pouch over here, the transparent pocket. The rest of the compartment is just one big compartment, which I prefer because it kind of allows you to put the maximum amount of things in without any additional pockets. You do get three strips of Velcro running down the sides and the bottom, as well as this partition where which you can kind of Velcro anywhere that you want within the compartment to split it up however you see fit. This is kind of like a, this is similar to a camera bag. Uh, so if you ever have any experience with those, that's similar to that. You also get this little dry bag here. Um, and the nice thing about this is it also has another piece of Velcro on the back. So you can just stick it down. And then it gives you a nice convenient way to load whatever you need to. Uh, so this is good if you have something extra sensitive that really can't get wet. Uh, you could throw it in here for an extra layer of protection or maybe vice versa if you have something gross like a used pair of underwear or something. You could throw that in here and maybe keep it the rest of your tank bag from getting gross. So next up I wanted to just show you exactly what can fit in one of these tank bags. One of the issues that I've always had with purchasing anything online, whether it's tank bags, backpacks, saddlebags, etc. I just don't know exactly how big they are or if they're going to work for my needs. So hopefully some of the things that I'll fit in here will give you a rough idea of how big this bag is, you know, for real world use and if it'll work for you. So I mainly use this as a lunch box for uh, taking my food to work. So, you know, I always take a Tupperware like this. This one is a five inch by seven inch Tupperware and as you can see it fits in very easily. You can actually fit it in sideways as well. Um, I also have a six inch by eight inch Tupperware here. As you can see that also fits in easily. Uh, I can also put that in sideways as well. And then I also have a regular 16.9 fluid ounce bottle of water. This is the, I guess, pretty standard size version. Uh, so you can kind of get an idea of how that fits in there. We've got a tall energy drink. And then I've also got a standard soda can. And you can see how those three fit in there. So pretty good amount of room in there. If you want to, you could even fit, for example, the bottle of water as well as a large Tupperware in like this. And you can see that's it fits in pretty well. Uh, since this is kind of pre-curved for the tank, the bottom on this side is a lot deeper than the bottom right here. So you can always add a few more things kind of towards the back if that's what you want to do. But this is kind of more than I would end up taking anyway. You'd also get a little bit more room if you took the partition and the little dry bag out and stored those elsewhere. Uh, so you would definitely be able to fit a little bit more in than what I'm showing here. And finally, I wanted to show you what it looks like with a pair of gauntlet gloves. These are pretty full length gloves. Uh, so you can see these do fit in there, but you're probably not going to get something like a pair of shoes or a full change of clothes in here. 
but for just snacks on the road, uh, a few electronics, maybe a few small tools, uh, I think this bag is perfect. So next up, let me show you what it looks like on the bike. And here's what the base of the Fandango tank bag looks like on the bike. So it's got three straps, so one on each side of the tank and then one that goes underneath your steering stem and back up on this side to secure everything down. What I really like about this design is there's actually little pass-throughs right here for the straps to come back up and all the buckles and adjustments are kept underneath the tank bag so nothing is kind of hanging out down here where it could get scratched or you know pulled on and loosen up the bottom base of the tank bag so i really like this design once the tank bag is on it looks really clean you can see here it's got a little cutout or u shape for your gas cap and the zipper that goes around the three sides to secure the tank bag in position one thing to keep in mind with this base is when you're routing these straps around your frame, always make sure that you're not crushing or damaging any wires or hoses or tubes. So try and make sure that you route these behind anything delicate like that. And this is what the tank bag looks like on the bike. I really like the curved part. It really matches up well with my Super Tenere's tank and it makes sure that the top is relatively flat. I also like that it's super secure and very sturdy. It doesn't try and flop around or try and move at all. So that's what I really appreciate about this tank bag. So to refuel, it's also very easy. All you have to do is unzip it about two thirds of the way till about here, and then you just flip it over. And I just let it rest kind of on the handlebar back here. And then now you have the space to fuel up and access your fuel cap. So let me go over a few downsides. So while I really like the tank bag, it's not 100% perfect. One small nitpick that I have is you can't really open the tank bag zipper just a little to sneak your fingers in uh, because the bag is so well shielded. You know, there's a really big lip right here. And so that means you can't just kind of throw a candy bar or something in by unzipping it a little bit of the way. Obviously, that they did this to keep it more waterproof, so I can understand why, but it's just a little nitpick that I have coming from my other tank bag. My second complaint is it's not super easy to install onto the base. So if you're always taking this on and off, it's a little finicky because you have to get the zipper lined up just right and then have it come all the way around. So it's not as easy as just throwing a magnetic tank bag onto your tank and riding off. It does take a little bit of alignment. My third kind of nitpick is this gap here is not really wide enough for the fuel cap to open and close without getting in the way of this base. So if I open this up, you can kind of see it gets caught here. And so I have to kind of pull the tank bag in both directions to get this to open up. And then same thing with closing. You can see it's trying to close onto the base. And so I have to pull it each time and then I can push it down and so it's not a huge deal but you know it's a little annoying uh, you kind of get used to it but I would like to see a little bit wider of a gap here the other thing is once you do tighten this front strap down it tries to pinch these two together uh, so that also closes up this gap a little bit the other thing kind of related to the fuel cap is if you do flip this up like this, you're kind of limited to filling up only on the left side. You can't really access the pump from the right side because the tank bag will be in the way. You could always remove this fully and put it on the seat behind you or something else, but it does limit it if you want it to be you know, this convenient. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind is Giant Loop Moto themselves state that this will scratch up your tank. So I have went ahead and wrapped my tank with Expel film. Uh, they also sell an equivalent uh, film that's uncut that you can buy and stick on your tank, but dirt and other debris can get caught underneath here and scratch up your tank. That's kind of the same issue with the magnetic tank bag. So it's not, you know, just a design flaw or anything with this, but I just thought I would let you know that, you know, you should probably factor in the cost of the protective film when you buy this tank bag.
And the final complaint or nitpick that I have is unlike a magnetic tank bag that you just remove and then throw onto a different bike, you need to buy a second base like this for any other bike that you have. And these do cost $100 each. So it is a little expensive, I think, in order to be able to transport this bag uh, between bikes. But uh, for me, it's not a huge deal because I'm not planning on putting this on any other motorcycle that I own for now, at least. So overall, I'm really happy with this tank bag. It's very sturdy, very secure. It feels well built. Um, I did pick this one up for $150, which is half the price of the $300 that it usually costs. And I've never spent $300 on a tank bag, so I can't say if that's worth it or not. But for $150, I do think that this is a great purchase. Uh, I've ridden through rain and other, you know, kind of inclement weather, and I haven't had any issues with this so far. I've had no issues with it trying to shift around on me um, or get in the way of me riding. For the most part, I think it's a great bag. So I would definitely recommend this. I just wanted to bring up any downsides so you kind of have an, uh, my honest take on what I think about this bag. But overall, I really like it. Let me know if you have any experience with this tank bag or if you recommend any other kind of tank bag uh, in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching.